Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up your Xbox controller, your 360 or your Xbox One controller to your Linux machine so you can use the RPCS3 emulator to play PlayStation 3 games. I've got a bit of a bad throat so if it's hard to understand me, I apologise. just wanted to make sure I got this video out on time. Okay, so let me show you the controller right now. Should be seeing my Xbox One controller. So there's two ways of doing this, wired or wireless. Highly recommend wired because wireless is temperamental and supports less controllers. So first of all, let's talk about wired. Wired, if you have a wired controller where the wire is actually hardwired in it and you can't detach it, for 360 and Xbox One is plug and play, you'll be good to go. If you have a 360 wireless controller, uh, you cannot make that into a wire to work on here. You're, you're out to look. If you have a Xbox One have a controller, whether it's old or new, and I'll go into that in a second, you can just use the charging cable, plug this in, which I'll be doing in a second, and that's plug and play, you're good to go. So in terms of the wireless side, I recommend staying away from it. It is patchy and buggy, but again, if you do want to do it, 360, you're out to look because it uses a proprietary dongle, which I've seen some drivers, people have made. Again, they're very buggy. I wouldn't recommend it. For Xbox One, if you have an older controller, you can you unlock a Windows machine. You could use one of these official license dongles, which is quite expensive, to be fair. And again, it's very patchy and you just need some extra drivers. Or if you have a newer controller from like 2016 onwards, you can just use the built-in Bluetooth, which is, that's the wireless technology that they use instead of some sort of proprietary, proprietary technology. But again, it is patchy. We'll just touch the camera, but I recommend wired. So once you've got it connected, however you want, wireless or wired, but I recommend wired. Next, what you want to do is in RPCS3, open it up. We're going to go here, this drop down, and go to EV Dev. You can click refresh if it doesn't appear, but it has. And there we go. If we look down here, it's detected our analog sticks. It'll be gray for you, didn't? And as we can see, we can move them. If we go to the trigger thresholds, it will detect when we press these two triggers. The wrong ones. That one. And that one. And in terms of the vibration, we can turn that on. And also, it's got two types of vibration, the larger and the smaller one as well. You can change the device class depending on what type of game playing standard is most likely. If you want to change one of the button mappings, maybe you want to make a triangle to X. So you could click it, press it. There you go. So that's how you override it. I'm going to click Restore to Default. One last thing I want to show you is you can add a profile, name it, click OK, and you can select it from here. The benefit of doing that is maybe with a certain game, Maybe you can only play, you know, navigation with the D-pad, but you want to use the analog stick. So you can map the D-pad onto the analog stick, but you can create different profiles for different games. Make sure once you've done this, you click save, otherwise it will not, you know, save it. And now you're good to go. So let's open up a game. I'm going to launch up Minecraft. I don't think I don't know what's Minecraft or not. This way. I'll leave it like this for now. I'll turn the volume down. Okay, so as you can see, the X button, not that X, the PlayStation X button which is mapped to A was working and I'll get into the game, move around, do a bit of mining and show you it working. Okay, as you can see I can move around, look around, and I'll just mine that, let me place it, there we go. Pause. And that's how you connect or pay Xbox controller to your Linux machine so you can use it in the RPCS3 emulator for PlayStation 3 games. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.